I'm John Scanella, the John R. Horner Curator of Paleontology at the Museum of the Rockies at Montana State University. And we're standing at a Triceratops excavation in the Hell Creek Formation uh, near Ekalaka, Montana. Every morning when I wake up, I'm excited about what new discoveries we might make today, whether it's finding a new fossil out here in the field, or maybe discovering something new about ancient creatures in the lab back at the museum. It's very exciting being the John R. Horner Curator of Paleontology. Uh, every summer, the Museum of the Rockies field crews come out to areas like this, where we discover and collect even more fossils so we can continue to learn more about the past of Montana. Working in the quarry today, we have several uh, Montana State University students and volunteers who are helping us excavate this Triceratops. And the museum provides great opportunities for students at the university to be able to have hands-on experience either here in the field, working with getting uh, dinosaur bones uh, out of the ground and back to the lab. So it's possible to learn all manner of aspects of paleontology at the Museum of the Rockies. What I've appreciated most about working with John is he's been very supportive out here in the field, back at the museum, but he's been very, very patient and willing to spend time with students and get them to explore their interest in paleontology and science. He's done a fabulous job of helping rebuild the student core, bring out undergrads, basically get them early, get them interested and get them out here. And uh, I think that's very important for the museum and for the university. We're here in the uh, Triceratops quarry, and right next to me are a bunch of bones that have been uncovered uh, in the last couple days. On, right here, this is a winter jacket, so underneath this is a squamosal, or one of the bones of the frill from the back of the skull of this Triceratops that was found last summer and then protected in this plaster jacket uh, for the winter until the field crew could get back to the site uh, this summer. And in removing the rock around this bone, additional bones were, were found. Here we have some ribs of this Triceratops over here. And then this is an ischium or one of the bones of the hip of this animal. And here's a limb bone going further back into the hill. And above it is a vertebra or one of the backbones of this Triceratops. What was this animal like when it was alive? Uh, what was its world like? What was the ecosystem like? But on top of that, there's the broader large scale story of the evolution of dinosaurs or other creatures throughout time. How are these animals changing uh, over time in relation to how the environment was changing? Right now, if we, if we look at what's going on around us, we're just looking at one slice of time. We can see what people are doing, what kind of animals we're interacting with. Uh, but this is all what's happening today or in the last few years or so. Paleontology provides us a really deep time view of what, what has happened with life on this planet and how it has changed over time, how the environment has affected life uh, over large scales of time. So it helps us to learn a lot about what might happen in the future. If, if an ocean changes in a certain way or if the climate changes in another way, how might this impact life on Earth? If you find a fossil of a dinosaur, you're excavating a living creature that was part of the ecosystem here in Montana millions of years ago. So in that sense, the story of the dinosaurs is a part of the story of life on this planet. It's part of our story. 